Hey everybody, welcome to my how to turn on iCloud Sync for Messages video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to keep all of your messages in iCloud and introduce you to what I think are some of the primary benefits of doing so. So stay tuned. With the update to iOS 11.4 that Apple just recently released, they've added this really cool feature that lets you sync messages between most of your Apple devices, such as your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. When using this new feature, messages in iCloud are updated automatically so you always have the same view between your various Apple devices everywhere you use iMessage. When you delete a message, photo, or conversation on one device, such as your iPhone, it gets removed from all of your other devices as well. But one of the really great benefits of this new option is that it saves all of your attachments in iCloud, so you can save space on your device. And the other major benefit is that when using this option, iCloud keeps your entire message history backed up so it's even there when you set up a brand new device with your iCloud account, like when you upgrade your iPhone. Turning on messages in iCloud is really simple. First I'll go over how to turn it on in iOS, and then I'll show you how to activate it on your Mac. I'm going to use my iPhone to demonstrate for iOS. One thing to note before we proceed, I would recommend having your iPhone on Wi-Fi and either fully charged or close to a charger because depending on how up to date your device is, it could end up downloading and or uploading a lot of messages and attachments when you first turn this on. On your iPhone or iPad, go to Settings, then tap your name, which should be at the top of the Settings screen, then press iCloud, and locate the Messages option. Once located, then simply swipe it on. See how easy that was? It's pretty simple on your Mac as well, but has a few more steps. One thing to note on the Mac side is to make sure you're up to date running macOS High Sierra 10.13.5. Once that's been confirmed and or you've done the update, launch the Messages app, I'll do that using Spotlight in this example by pressing Command Space and then typing Messages. Then go to the Messages menu in the upper left and choose Preferences. Then click Accounts and click the checkbox next to Enable Messages in iCloud. Then finally click the Sync Now button to begin syncing your messages. And now Messages in iCloud is set up on your Mac too. It's a pretty cool feature making your messages similar to webmail in that it's the same on most of your devices creating a better user experience. At this point, my only real criticism is that they haven't extended messages in iCloud to the Apple Watch yet, so here's hoping that's in the pipeline. Feel free to share your thoughts and experiences with messages in iCloud in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.